What's going on YouTube? My name is King Langer and welcome back to some more Firewatch. Time to shut up and let's just get right back into it. Who's listening to us? Alright, so wedding ring. Pick up. Examine. You see Hold. that plane? Uh, no, I was just busy packing up. Well, there's gonna be a lot more. The service says this thing is 2% contained. Well, is this the June fire or the site fire? Or... Well, the two fires merged into one unmitigated disaster. They're renaming it after my lookout. You about packed We're gonna up? take all this with us. Shouldn't we talk for a sec? You know about things. About what? Oh, that's us. That's what we look like. We're a big man. Wow. We still don't know who was listening to us, who was following me around, who made that tape. Yeah, all we have is the body of a dead boy who did nothing wrong. But maybe we can still find these people. Look, I think whoever is out there caused the site fire to cover their tracks, and I'm almost certain that when I get off the helicopter, I'm going to be led into a room and made to listen to a tape of me saying we started it. And we don't know shit. What can I do? Well, there's something for you to do. Holy shit. Holy crap. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. We don't know what it is. It could be nothing. Yeah, it could also be whoever was listening to us. Who, whoever made the tape. Okay. Yeah, um... Look, you should pack up everything you need in case we get the call and you can't come back. Alright, look. If, if something happens... I'll remember you. I was hoping you'd have a backup plan or something. Yeah, um, okay, I'm probably gonna move to Canada. Ontario, maybe. No, I meant if something happens to me. Right, if you don't find out who made the tape and I have to hit the road. Forget it. Be safe, Henry. Right, so... What the crap is this, dude? It looks like a tornado. I'm dead serious. Alright, we gotta be quiet. We gotta follow where this noise is coming from. What's your status? I think I'm getting close. All right, well, I just got word that they are coming to get us. My place. You sound worried. No, it's... it's just... Brian? I'll coordinate with the evac team and let you know when to head towards the tram. It's north. Far. Past where you found that cut back in May. There's an emergency tram out there that will let you hike to the rendezvous point at my lookout. All right, so where are we going? We need to go around here. We need to repel. Alright. This is getting interesting. Alright, so they're saying we get to go to her, her, her lookout to get picked up. So that's cool. Do I think it's that's going to happen? No. I see it. Henry. Yeah, hi, Henry. Hey, you better find this before it burns up. We've been causing each other a lot of headaches. Now I gotta go stake out a site that's as fit for living as the one you're about to find. You'll get it when you see it. You can't blame me for keeping an eye on you. Not after bumping into you back in May. Down by the cave, for crock's sake. I've been up here for three years. I kept it cozy. Winters are harsh as hell, and I ran out of books. But I got that antenna rigged up, and Delilah, she's a, she's a record you don't gotta flip. I kind of get why Brian took to her. About a week ago, I stopped worrying about you finding anything out. And that's right when everything went shit house with you two. <laughs> you guys don't know anything about having kids. All right, nobody knows nothing. It ain't Andy and Opie walking down the lake to fish every afternoon. It ain't Mayberry. But you got to know I didn't kill him. All right, we were climbing. 
I was teaching him. Brian was uneducated in the way to do anything. He just... He just fucking didn't sink his anchor the right way. You know, I thought about going back, having to answer questions, and having to get him put in the ground, and... I didn't see the point. Don't come looking for me. Sorry about your wife. Okay. We found the surveillance operation. Okay, what does that mean? What is it? It was Ned Goodwin. He was the one listening to us, just him. Ned Goodwin? He made the tape? Yeah. He's gone deeper into the Shoshone. He doesn't want anyone to know he's out here. The because he killed Brian. Because he killed his fucking son. No, he didn't. Y you need to get back here. They say the helicopters are making rounds. Okay. There, there's no... No, he didn't kill his son. He fell. He definitely fell. I'm not gonna buy into any of that. That, you know, he killed his son, whatever. If they ask me, do you think he killed his son? I'm gonna say no. It was an honest mistake. And he said, don't come looking for him. And I wonder if he's, uh... I wonder if he's actually gone. I wonder. Alright, where am I going? Hike north to thoroughfare lookout for evacuation. Evac point. We're right there, so we gotta cut through up here. We gotta cut through Thunder Canyon. Oh, boy. I'm, I'm really sad this game is starting to come to an end, dude. This is, like I said in a previous video, this is one of my favorite games that I've played for the channel. And actually for either one of my YouTube channels. This is turning out to be one of my favorite games ever. Uh, I, I just love this game to death. What the crap is this? We shouldn't come down here. He told us not to look for him. Keep it. Father's Day card. Read. To be a rad, bad, mega dad. Alright, we're gonna keep it. Camp stove. Research site info. Report draft. Read. So Henry M. Age 39. Observation trial. Traits. F. Guilty. Whatever that means. Report draft. Delilah, age 43. Now nah, we're gonna keep it. Come on. Report. Read. Henry. Observation keeps to the path. Passive. Guilty. Forthright. Pertinent. Observed facts. No kids. Abandoned wife of 11 years. Didn't abandon her. Would not be missed if removed. Suspectability to manipulation, nine supervisors, SGN, god dang it. Alright. Um, typed draft report. Oh, it was just the wind. I thought somebody was here. Let's see. Let's read it. Delilah, reliable, observant, charismatic, selfish, skewed perception of personal history. Maybe he thought we were onto us or something. Research site info. Research site info, how to break in, Wabi Station, North Fence, Loose Entrance, Southgate, Staff Return, August 10th. To do, return borrowed equipment, erase H and D evidence, leave no trace. Alright, so we're going to keep all the notes. List of supplies. Read. All right, just all the list of supplies that he's gonna need. All right. Electric junk. Workbench. You should see some of the stuff he was working on. I guess he had a lot of time on his hands. <gasps> this boombox looks familiar. Oh, is that ours? Oh, he must have stole it battery bank he was rigging up stolen batteries to keep his stuff going 
That makes sense. Let's see. Steven's room? Oh. Steven's room. Radio base He's station. He's got a radio base station up here. He was listening to us on that. Makes sense. He had quite the view. Lawn chair. Radio log. Pick that up. Let's see. First ranger fly fishing at Jay Lake. Reminder, rainbows hitting cad flies. Saw Mama Grizz on morning hike. Rainy week, water stocks good. Smoking trout while hiker's gone. Brian Goodwin birthday. Saw first ranger of the year. Okay, so this was... That was, um... That was when we got there. Haven't left base in two weeks, three weeks. Stir crazy. Big hike tomorrow. Care. New lookout in Two Forks. Henry saw Two Forks coming out of cave. D calling for hikers list. Delay her. She'll forget. All right. Let's keep looking at these and then we'll call it an episode. Read. Hiked to BT point severed radio com. D never called for a hiker list. Re-rigged Delano to pick up dual frequency. Can hear D and Two Forks at con at concurrently. Two Forks hiked by cave. He seems less interested. Two Forks to Jules. Julian, Julia. Two Forks is a good guy. Haven't seen Mama Grizz in two months. All right, so he realizes we're a good guy. D drunk again. Sounds about right. Let's see. Pick this one up. Let's read. Get a room. Reminder, scout migration due to fire. Yeah, that was effed up. Do not want to leave. Reminder, hide supplies from migration. D and two forks suspect conspiracy. Funny if not dire. Observe and be ready to leave. Ideas start working on reports. Re record all comms. Vandalize D's tower. Pin on two forks. Try to make remote recording device. Uni research site. Move pit against each other. All right, and the last one. Stakes too high. No one will believe B was happy. Brian was happy. Make D and Two Forks less believable. Two Forks crazy like wife, not good guy. Mama Grizz back. They heard me. Fully believe there's a program. Use this. Reports final. Make sure they find them. Two Forks almost caught me at sight. Reports worked. Re recorded call used for leverage. Two Forks found supplies. How? Key's gone. Can't let Two Forks find Brian. Well, I found him anyway. Alright, so let's see. Are we leaving now? Hopefully he's not coming back here. There's a clothesline. She's not answering. I don't know why I keep reporting this stuff. Let's see, are we not able to walk over there? All right, now which way do we go then? All right, let's just come this way. I think this is all the smoke, to be honest. Are we going the right way? I hope this is the way to go. All right, guys. Well, anyway, that's all the time I have for this episode. If you enjoyed, go ahead and leave some love down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and this is King Langer, until next time.